Welcome to the installation of our dictation software Dictasoft and Dictasoft Pro. In this video, we would like to show you how to set up a master installation. In order to demonstrate the installation, we will now set up a master installation of Dictasoft Pro. For the installation, you will need to find out your computer's name. You can find it by clicking Start, Settings, Control Panel, and System. A window will open. Please click Computer Name in order to have the assigned name displayed. You can now close this window. Next, you'll have to set up a new folder for the software on your server. You can use your C hard drive or any other desired location. Please click File, New, Folder, and then enter the favored name. You will now have to grant access to this folder so that it can be used by all designated users. Right-click on the folder and choose Sharing and Security. To open the folder for the entire network, click on Sharing and add a check mark. In order to edit files, please click Allows Network Users to Change My Files. Confirm by clicking Apply. It hereby is important to remember the network path the so-called UNC path, because it will be required throughout the installation process. In this case, it would be backslash, backslash, the computer name, backslash, and the name of the cleared folder. Now, please place the installation CD in your CD-ROM drive. A moment later, the opening window should automatically appear. If this is not the case, please open your My Computer window Double-click the drive with the installation CD. There, you will find the file Start Exa. Double-click this file. The opening window will now appear. In the upper right-hand side corner, you're asked to choose a language for your software installation. If you wish to change the language, please do so now. Now, please click Dictasoft Pro, and then Install Dictasoft Pro. Your installation has now begun. Click Next on the appearing pop-up window. Choose Master Installation. You are now asked to enter your UNC path. Please click Browse and then enter the applying UNC path. Then press the OK button and thereafter choose Next twice. A window displaying Dictasoft Pro Master Setup will now appear in which your setup status is displayed. Now press Next. You will be asked to accept the license agreement. In order to accept, please press Yes. In the next window, you can enter your and your company's name. You do not have to enter the serial number just yet. Please do so when you're using Dictasoft Pro for the first time after installing, when being asked for the serial number and the authorization code. You will find your serial number and authorization code on the cover of your Dictasoft CD-ROM. Now press Next. A window with recommendations will appear. After reading, please click on Next again. Now choose Typical as your desired installation type and click Next once more. You will now see your Settings Overview. Choose the desired options and proceed by clicking Next. The Software Licensing window will appear. Please click Next. Start the actual installation process by clicking Next once more. The master installation is now started. In a moment, a window will appear. Please click Finish. The chosen operations are now being accomplished. At the end of the installation, the administrator will automatically open. Here, you can enter the names of the users, authors, and transcribers. If you want the user to have a different password than for signing up for his Windows workstation, please choose Settings, Network Configuration, and remove the check mark for using the Windows sign-on. Click OK to confirm. To exemplify, we will now create an author, Mr. Johnson, by clicking New User. Afterwards, we give him an identification by assigning him as Author and confirm by clicking Apply. Continuous clicking on Yes and OK is necessary for creating an inbox and schedules. 
We now create both our transcribers, Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Hall. Therefore, we must enter both names, give the transcriptionists their identification, and place a check mark for user can log on. Afterwards, we choose transcriber in the user area and adopt the settings. Once again, we choose yes and OK several times to confirm. Finally, we will now also create a typing pool. In order to do so, please choose Create Typing Pool. After you've created your desired number of authors and transcribers accordingly, you can close the administrator area. A notification that you have successfully installed your software will pop up. Now click Finish. On your desktop, you will then find the Dictasoft Pro icon. Double-click the symbol and sign up using your identification. Please enter your serial number and authorization code. You can now work with Dictasoft Pro. In order to install Dictasoft Pro on a second workstation, go to the desired computer and click My Computer and Folder. Then choose Network Settings. Here, choose the computer that you've installed the master installation on. Now click Installation, and then choose Dictasoft Pro Client Setup. Please have a moment of patience after closing your folder. Shortly, a Dictasoft Pro icon will appear on this desktop as well. After clicking this icon and logging on with your identification, please enter the serial number and the authorization code. After entering the requested information, you can use Dictasoft Pro from this computer as well. We from Grundig Business Systems hope you'll enjoy working with our professional speech processing software.